will need to measure your couch to see how many fabrics you will need. So this is the before. I really like this sectional and the size of it. My only problem was the color. So I wanted to find the cheapest and easiest way to cover this couch. To cover this couch, I needed three large fabrics of 280 per 180 centimeters. Now for the fabric, you can use drop cloth, which is very budget friendly, or any type of fabric you might like or have at home. So for this fabric, I already had this at home. Um, although I would recommend to avoid any fabrics with stripes like mine. You will also need a pair of scissors, a few pins, a tape measure, some iron-on fusing web. I bought this one from Ikea and only needed one for the whole couch. And of course, an iron. So just to show you what I did, you just throw the fabric on the couch and you then make sure that all the fabric is straight all across the bottom of the couch. So I'll show you here what I basically did for all the corners of the couch. So again here, all you do is make sure that the fabric is straight and you then fold it like a present so it's very easy You just fold it from the inside and then use a pin to secure everything. I then use another pin to secure the inside of the fabric. You can either cut the inside of the fabric, but I didn't want to use any scissors. You then cut a piece of your fusing tape and melt it with your iron. And that's it! I did use my iron directly on my couch because the fabric is old and I'm lazy but of course you can use an iron board This is the final result and all you need to do is repeat this on every corner For the arm, I did the exact same thing, so just made sure that it was straight at the bottom and folded from the inside.
I used some pins to iron everything and then remove them. For the back, I only used a few pins uh, because I want to easily remove it to wash the fabric. To cover the back of the couch, I just put the fabric like this um, so it's easier to wash and I just measure what I need to cut on the bottom. Or you can use the fusing tape and iron the two fabrics together. So here is the result of my very easy DIY slip cover. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and thank you so much for watching.